Alright, gonna show you how I remove some circuits from this power box I got here off eBay. And I've already taken some out, but it had two fuses here. I'm sorry, two relays here. So we'll start taking it apart. That just comes off. bottom here you see that clip was broken but it comes off here here one up here there and there so there's going to be five clips to show the bottom Down to the top. Now next, what I did, because I was using these terminals, uh, these are the easiest to get out and use. I went ahead and took all these out. Now I took those out really fast because I've done that before. Uh, when I first got it, they were pretty tight. So, you can see from the bottom, all of these fused uh, spaces up here have all these nice big wires coming out already. So, that's what I used for my four fuses. And I'll show you how to pull those out. In here, there was a clip in the middle, and I believe two on the side. So from the bottom, just press, press that up and release those. And the middle one is tucked, tucked in there. Now you should be able to pull this up and out. Now you see we have all the spade connectors exposed. Um, to pull these out, all I did was take my little flathead screwdriver here. And there's little, little tiny tabs. And to get them out... Let's see. Just kind of stick your screwdriver in. And unclip them. Maybe. There we go. And that's all there is. It's a spade connector with that square in the middle that locks it in to those little tabs in there. So I took all these out and this gave me a great piece of wire to go ahead and strip and connect whatever I wanted to to it. So in putting them back in, you'll need your fuse box in your Jeep to look like this. Uh, these won't slide back in when this yellow piece is here. I found it got caught. So I took the fuses out, took this out on the Jeep, and was able to just put it back in here. And it clicks right into place. And it locks back in. So the four empty fuses I had on my Jeep, I put, in, I put them into those spots. So we now have fused... Uh, fused wires coming out and it said all these are powered from the battery these are all on one bus so that was that was pretty straightforward uh, so that's a great and easy way to add some extra fuses to your box if you've got some open spaces um, of course I've already done all this so 
what I had done here. Uh, these were the two big relays for the 4.0 Jeeps with the high and low fan. So what I had done is taken the relays out. Sometimes a little tough. I mean, they've never been out before. So once you have those out, you're left with this yellow tray again. Now through all these wires, you have to dig through there and find where the yellow, uh, I guess bracket, I should say, clips into. So let me try and find that and get that out. which I guess can prove to be somewhat difficult, but it's just a piece of plastic, so. Oh. I guess you have to be careful not to break it either, but. Uh, Of course, this one's fighting me the most while trying to do a video, as as always. There we go. So that'll come out. Uh, try not to break it. Now you're left with your relay blocks here, and these are clipped in with a clip on each side, one here and one up here. And these will slide down and out. So if you get your screwdriver in here, press those inward. They should, should slide should slide down and out. Again, why this one's being extra difficult, it's probably, oh, there we go, only because I'm trying the video. So that will slide, that will slide out through the bottom. Let's see. All right, this is still, this box is still connected to some of the mini fuses on here but if you can kind of picture this coming out you'll have uh, all your trigger ground battery in and accessory out wires pigtails already here so you can connect you can connect whatever you need extensions your your main wire whatever you need and then on when you get back to your Jeep you can just slide it maybe <laughs> slide it right into the box clicks in and you're ready to go and you put this put this right back in and then you can stick your fuses and relays whenever you want right back in and that's how you have auxiliary circuits now for my two relays I added here I took these nice big power wires from the square fuses up top here, which I showed in the beginning of the video, which are the easiest to use and add. And I just went ahead and let's pretend that this wire is the feed for the relay. I went ahead and just crimped these together and this now sits underneath my box in the Jeep. So the relays are powered from the fuses here, so there's no need for additional fuses or anything. 
So really, it's a pretty straightforward job. Um, if you make the appropriate harness with these parts outside of the vehicle, all you have to do when you get to your Jeep to put these in is you gotta pull these fuses and pull this yellow panel out. This one wasn't too bad. This one's not broken. <laughs> and then just literally slide them in through the bottom. It'll clip into place and you can add your fuses. For the relay block back here, when I was in the Jeep, I had my harness already done. I stuck the block in here, clipped it into place, put the yellow piece in, stuck the relays in. Um, all the wires coming out, I taped up and made it pretty clean. And I was still able to put, put the bottom on without any problem, you know, with the wires all tied up and clean it still fit fit in there no problem and I mean that's basically it this was 20 bucks for all these fuses relays wires already ready to go I don't think you're gonna find a better deal anywhere to get all this and all these extra fuses for for that cheap uh, aux relay box and eBay go for 60 100 150 dollars and I just, I can't spend that much money on something when I can do basically the same thing in a clean look for 20 bucks. Granted, I spent some money on some wire and some extra connectors, but I'm still, still ahead and it's right in the fuse box and it's out of the way. So that gave me, that gave me exactly what I wanted to do. And again, I have all these extra fuses and relays now if I ever needed them. So that was a great way to go. Hopefully this video helps someone out there trying to do the same thing. And uh, there'll be some more description um, on my on my thread that you all can look at. And uh, that should that should give you enough information to uh, to do this without much issue. Uh, any other questions, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer them and help everyone out. Thanks guys.